Good morning. Hey, how are you guys? Welcome to a day in the life in a small camper. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to our channel. I wanted to do a video that was another day in the life um, living in a camper. We did one before, um, so I will link that one down below if you want to go watch. But since then we've upgraded our camper and we are now at like a full year of living um, in a camper and not like in an actual house or an apartment or anything. I got clean house today, do laundry, um, go grocery shopping, and kind of what that looks like for someone who lives in a camper and not in a like full-sized house. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it's something that's other than fitness for the first time in a long time, so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And then if you're interested in seeing what it's like to live tiny, then keep watching. So first things first is we are going to clean. We were not home throughout the day very much last week, and our camper is trash <laughs> it's pretty messy probably give you guys a tour after that some Starbucks and I figured while he was gone before I started getting ready for today I would give you guys a tour of our camper so originally we lived in a I think it was like a 2017 or 2019 I can't remember um, apex nano it was like 19 feet long um, our bedroom kitchen dining room were all one area and then we had a bathroom um, and we upgraded earlier this year to a Catalina that is, I believe, a 28 or 29 foot camper. Um, it has much more space. Our bedroom is separate, which I really love. Our bathroom's a little bit bigger, our kitchen's bigger. So we, once we realized that this is what we wanna do full time as far as like our living situation, we decided, well, Kenny surprised me with like going to look at this one and he was like, what do you think? Like, do you want to get a bigger camper? And I was like, I love it. It just felt more like home. Um, and we've really enjoyed it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of the camper and I think we'll start in the bathroom and then work our way up. So here is our bathroom. Um, it is a lot bigger than the one that we used to have. So used to like the sink and the toilet were side by side and then you had your shower. Now we actually have a little bit of space so we both can fit here at the same time instead of just one person. Um, but we have a shower. It is a tub, which I love because water does not spill out quite as easy. Um, we don't use it very often, but um, we use it sometimes um, typically, typically we actually will shower at Planet Fitness instead of in here because we only have enough hot water for one person. Um, and then our toilet. And then this is our, um, vanity down in this cabinet. I have like random things like toilet paper, my hair stuff, um, just different things like that. Um, and then this cabinet is where I keep like skincare or like toothbrush, toothpaste stuff. Um, and then like all of our medicine is up there. Um. Those are our toothbrushes. I got those at Walmart so that we didn't have to have a cup sitting on the counter. I keep hand wash, hand sanitizer, and then like um, air freshener on the counter. Um, we have a little trash can. We have two like towel holders. This one is actually a hair towel and then we have a hand towel there. And then I just recently got this on Amazon. I kept my jewelry down in this cabinet and I wasn't really wearing a lot of it. So I got this to hang it up so I could actually see it and like have easier access. Um, we have these two screws. I don't think that's what they're actually for, but we hang our towels on them. Um, and then on the bathroom door, I have like this little over the door hook organizer. It's where I keep all my headbands and then, um, my bathroom. And on the other side, I hung up a mirror because I like having a full length mirror to be able to, um, look at myself, I guess. Um, so right next to the bathroom is our bunk bed. So it has a curtain. The top we actually use for storage, like we have our cat litter up there, where we buy cases of drinks and stuff, I put them up there. We have our like heater for winter, our cat carriers for when they have to take them to the vet. A lot of my yarn stuff is up there, um, so that's just kind of like storage. And then down here we actually have what we call our nap cubby. Um, we keep it set up like a bed all the time. Kenny likes to lay down and take naps, decompress, sometimes we'll sleep in there at night. Um, but it has like a ladder. And on the other side of the bed, we keep our laundry basket. And then this is our vacuum and our little Swiffer mop. Um, and then right in front of 
the bunk beds is where we keep our litter box. In our old camper, we actually hid it underneath one of the booth seats, but we haven't figured out where to put this one yet. And, and so we got a self-cleaning one. So like it's cleaning every 20 minutes. It doesn't smell. Um, and we felt pretty okay leaving it out there. So that is the back side of the house. Um, to the left of the bathroom, we have our closet. So this is my closet. And this is Kenny's. He keeps pretty much all of his clothes in there. This is pretty much just like workout clothes, t-shirts, shorts, different things like that. We have another closet in the bedroom that we use for hang up clothes. Down here, I have this um, like grocery bag holder that I crochet and hold the door, but just have like different random kitchen dishes stored. This one has towels and then more dishes in it. And then next to that, we have our fridge and we have a cabinet above our fridge. I keep stuff we don't usually use up there, like our coffee stuff, some tea bags, some like dip mixes, different things like that. It's our freezer, um, our fridge, which I just cleaned out so I have room for groceries. Um, I think this one is bigger than the one that we used to have. It can run off electric or gas, so if we ever have a problem with the power, it'll run off gas or like vice versa. So that's really nice. Um, so here is our kitchen. I love the kitchen a lot more than our old camper. Um, it's a lot bigger. I'm more counter space and I have an oven. I didn't realize at first in the old camper that we didn't have one, but we have a microwave, um, a three burner stove top. And I like this one better because when you light it, you don't have to use a lighter. You just turn the gas on and then there's this little knob that you turn and it will light it for you, which I feel like is much safer. But the oven, you do have to like, physically get down in there and light it but it's just nice to have on occasions um i have like all my spices back here utensils olive oil dish soap um these sink covers i love because they're actually like the counters and they're really heavy duty the ones in the old camper would like slip and slide out and you couldn't really use them for much so we had like no counter space i'd use our dining room table for counter space um we have our coffee pot um we have this window we keep it open sometimes because the cats especially Harry, loves to look out the windows. Next, above cabinet storage, this is like our pantry. Um, we keep like random things in there. This is where we keep like cups, silverware, some different like little pans and lids um, and just other things for the kitchen. That's what we keep up there. Um, down here, um, we have like cleaning supplies, trash can, um cat food and then there's more cleaning supplies over here you just can't really see them these next two drawers are just more like kitchen utensils they don't shut super easy um but that's what we keep in there um so that is our kitchen um right next to the kitchen is the front door we keep our like cats food and water here we have a cabinet down here where we put shoes um and then that's the bedroom, which we'll go there later. At the bunk beds, if you turn to the right, we have our dining room table. You actually can turn this into a bed, and we do that pretty often. It's nice to, like, lay down and watch movies, um, or sometimes we'll sleep here. We'll leave it up if we're, like, off for a full weekend, and we'll just lay around all day. And then this is our couch, which can also be turned into a bed. Um, it's not as comfortable, but we do sometimes watch movies on it. We have this ottoman where we store, like, blankets and things. Um... These cabinets up here aren't really full of much, just like random books. And then we have like essential oils, things that need to be hung up that I have not hung up yet. And like our diffuser and stuff is over there. They're kind of tiny, so we don't put much in them. This is like our whole TV station. Um, down in these cabinets, I have a scraper kit. Um, and then I think I have like box extra cords there's not much down there and then up here I have um like our electronics we have our Nintendo switch and our Xbox up there that's like our TV stand um in the corner we have just some like random like yoga mat um compression stuff some more recovery items so that's just what's in that corner um so that's kind of an overview of the camper. I'll kind of step back and show you guys. Um, it's so spacious and we love it so much more um, just because you have more room to breathe versus like in our old camper, it was like <laughs> if someone wanted to go lay down in the bedroom while well, someone's still standing in the kitchen, it's just really nice and the cats have a lot more room to kind of roam around. So um, 
now we'll go into the bedroom. It's nothing crazy. Our, um, the bedroom is actually pretty small, but it, I love that it's just separate from the house. Um, I think it's a camper queen. We have our closets here. This is where I do hang up all of my like nice clothes. Um, Kenny's closet is over there. And then above I have like my underwear and stuff. And then Kenny puts his jeans up there. So that's the bedroom. We have like a little walkway to get around. And that's the tour of our camper. Um, like I said, we really enjoy it a lot more um, than our other camper. But I am going to get ready for the day. And then I'm going to sit down, get our grocery list together, and then go start um, running those errands. A drowning. He's taking his best warriors. To do what? To cut the head off the snake. going to be the laundromat do not have a washer and dryer and so typically we drop laundry off at the laundromat i wanted to do laundry today but then whenever i started thinking about all the other stuff we had to do um sometimes we have forgotten it so i'm just gonna drop it off like can you want it to this morning uh -huh. <laughs> um so that they can do it we have a great people at the laundromat we drop it off like twice a week they know us really well so um, that's how we usually do our laundry, and then after that, we're gonna go Mother's Day, birthday, graduation shopping for my family. My brother graduates high school next weekend. Um, I'm gonna go Mother's Day shopping for my mom, her wife, my stepmom, and my sister who is now a mom. And then my sister's birthday and my niece's birthday are both at the end of this month. So we're gonna do some shopping for that, and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Kenny is dropping off laundry right now. Um, so like I said, we don't have a washer and dryer, but the laundromat is super convenient for us to do laundry. Um, <clears throat> and it's not really expensive. So I would say that kind of is like a I guess a downside of living in a camper is you don't have your own washer and dryer, but whenever you have like a laundry pickup service like this, it doesn't bother us at all. Are you going where I think you're Why going? Why are you recording? My friends. <laughs> oh, door did not shut. <laughs> Alright, so we're home. Um, I told Kenny he could go ahead and lay down and take a nap because he was wanting to. And I'm going to bring all the groceries in. But I got a little clip of him getting into the nap cubby. So that's like his favorite place to relax. So I'm going to bring everything in.
so I've been prepping stuff for breakfast this week. I have some strawberries cut up for breakfast. I have Kenny, part of Kenny's breakfast made for just stocked I'm cooking bacon. Oh. And now we're just hanging out. Yep. Hey, come back. I wanted to get video for giving me kisses. Did you get that on video? Mm -hmm. She's like. Okay, baby. Why are you flexing it, kitties? Because they're so sweet. Okay, so earlier I was telling you guys how um, we do have a shower in our camper, but we don't use it very often. We come to Planet Fitness most of the time, mm -hmm. and that's what we're about to do. I'm all done with my shower. I think I kind of explained it earlier. Showering at Planet Fitness is just really convenient for us, especially because we only have one shower. It's small. We don't have a huge water heater, so we don't have a ton of hot water. And whenever one person takes a shower, the other person has to wait a while for it to like heat back up so we can shower at the same time. We never run out of hot water. And our Planet Fitness has nice showers. And usually we will pass it on the way home anyway. So like after we get off work, we just drop we just stopped by and take a shower. So, um, next, whenever Kenny gets out, we're going to go pick up our laundry because it's already done. They called us after we got home from Walmart and said that it was done. So.